Hi there, this is Phil Simborg, and this is my new P40 backgammon board. I'm very, very thrilled to have it, very proud of it. It's a revolutionary board. I'm proud to say that I was very much involved in uh, advising on the design and testing of this board and the sales of marketing with my friends uh, back in Butler, Pennsylvania, where the board is made entirely in the United States uh, in a very high-tech factory that has been used for other very, very high-tech manufacturing. And the owner decided, uh, heck, I love backgammon and I could make a lot better board than has ever been made for a lot less money than fine boards normally cost. Just to give you an idea, this board is around $825, complete with the metal rim checkers, the beautiful metal rim checkers that come uh, with either a chrome finish or a matte finish, a doubling cube that holds, uh, can hold eight dice, it comes with four dice, uh, it's an aluminum, will last a lifetime, the surface uh, is ultimate suede. This one looks like cloth. It's designed to look that way. It comes in any color in the world that you want. Uh, and this ultimate suede, the the uh, all of the design on the uh, on the surface is dyed into it, called sublimated or something. I don't understand. But uh, the bottom line is the checkers glide across it without uh, having any drag over the points. This is washable. Uh, it it will not fade. Uh, it can be replaced in about 10 minutes by removing a couple of screws and uh, on both sides and and pulling it uh, pulling it out and putting in a new surface. Uh, the exterior uh, is carbon fiber inserts. Uh, there's never been a design like this. It is not a super light board. It's about 12 and a half pounds with everything included. Uh, but uh, it has to be that weight in order to be this strong. And we're working on ways to, to make it lighter. There is an option. Uh, there is a material that's very strong that we can substitute that cuts out a couple of pounds that cost a couple hundred bucks more. Uh, and there's all kinds of very, very neat uh, accessories, including board covers. We've got a new, uh, we don't call it a baffle box. It's like uh, some baffle boxes it's very very different a dice scrambler which I'll show you that fits right into the board that is amazing uh, the cups are uh, on the small side it takes a little getting used to most people are used to larger cups but they're ergonomically designed to fit comfortably in the hand uh, and there's just all kinds of options and you can design any color board that you want uh, as far as the surface goes and you can uh, personalize the surface and put your name or a logo in here uh, very inexpensively uh, instead of the P40 symbol on the cube you can have 64 which is what many people like or you can have uh, your initials uh, and there's again all kinds of ways to customize it go to the website which is www uh, p40bg.com and you can see in more detail the options the costs you can see testimonials by uh, incredible people let's see um, the board itself uh, has many many different possible designs let's take a look I'm looking at the actual website we're at 825 now including everything except shipping of course and uh, uh, there's guarantees that come with this board and warranties like you can't believe the outside is just beautiful it's a work of art that shows you the carbon fiber the 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 way it's all put together is very very tight very very beautiful and of course many many different choices uh, any any color of the rainbow you want by the way you pick out your your colors uh, if you like a, a black background or oh here's black points and uh, let's say some people would like black and white points or let's go with a little bit of a creamy oh i think that's too too white so i'll go with a little bit different color on the points and then i'll make a background let's try a green background see what it looks like here's a pretty traditional looking backgammon board oh the checkers are red and silver uh i think i would go with uh with the black background on this board or the black frame and I think I like the bright silver checkers and uh, oh let's go let's put a little color in there let's go with the red and then I would go in the second I would go with the um, um, I'll go with the chrome again I like to be consistent keep the same with both checkers I went with the red let's go with the uh, well let's go with silver let's see what this looks like go back to the board whoops it didn't change the uh, checker color yet I, I gotta work on that I'm hitting a wrong button or something Any, anyway you can see what I mean you can change the colors on the spot 
and look at any color combination in the world. Uh, really a beautiful piece of work. Um, I just want to show you about P40. Um, here is uh, some testimonials. Akiko uh, loves the board, played on it, can't wait to order her own uh, purple one. Joe Russell, for world champion, has one of these boards. Elegant design, amazing board for, uh, for the price. Uh, again, think about the price. Those metal rim checkers, those beautiful metal rim checkers, you can buy checkers similar to those, not as nice, from other companies for more than our board cost. Uh, that's how incredible a price this is and that's because we found a way to automate the process with high-tech machinery and engineering. Uh, Jim Pasco, an incredible player, loves it, thinks it's a great gift. We, many people are buying these for gifts and we have a lot more uh, that we put on the Facebook page uh, and a lot more testimonials coming. Uh, speaking of testimonials, I'm not going to read you the whole thing. Got an incredible uh, review review of the board from Ed Rosenberg. Ed, as you may recall, won the Las Vegas tournament, uh, uh, and uh, he's a great uh, back of a teacher, runs the club in Albuquerque. Uh, I, this will be posted later, but he compares this to the Nikon F camera in 1959 that changed the world of photography by providing all the options and so on, gets into the characteristics. Bottom line, there's a couple little things that he saw tiny problems with that that actually we're working on and fixing. It's a brand new product, and and they're not major things. Things like um, uh, some we had a, some problem with the cups initially by the cups being having too severe a ridge for the larger dice. We've corrected that. And by the way, I like smaller dice anyway. But uh, uh, basically, his bottom line was: I love playing on the board. The checkers glide beautifully on the ultra suede surface. There's just the right amount of friction to create a wonderfully luxurious feel. We didn't. Pay Ed for this, by the way, or, or anyway, or solicited. He just decided he uh, uh, he would write uh, this review because he's a friend of mine and he loved the board. Uh, the checker weight and the height uh, just add to the experience. Uh, there's a few nits, like I mentioned. The board is revolutionary design, and I believe it will bring many players into the backgammon world. I uh, love the ability to create a customized board on the website. Nothing short of remarkable. On the other hand, the uh, one other thing, the P40 team has provided excellent customer support throughout the ordering and delivery process, including a last-minute change that required them to reconfigure my order. This is the kind of feedback we're getting uh, from everywhere. People just love this board. Um, accessories. Uh, the, of course, we have dice that are customized that say P40, a carrying bag. Uh, you can buy additional surfaces with or without logo and change it all the time. This is that dice scrambler I was talking about. It folds apart into three pieces that lay inside your board so you don't have to carry it separately. Pops together in about two seconds, uh, much easier than the previous uh, baffle boxes that I was selling uh, that have sold quite a few worldwide. This really scrambles the dice. There is no way you're going to see dice going every which way uh, flowing through this and there's grooves in the bottom that fit right into the P40 board. This is only 50 bucks. The last uh, uh, thing that I was selling, the baffle box that I was selling, is a real piece of junk compared to this in every way and was 70 bucks and I wasn't I wasn't making very much money on it. It just cost that much more to put together the old-fashioned way with somebody hand-cutting it and on it with a die and, and, of course, putting it together. A lot of people thought it was fun. Some people like Bob Glasswood crazy at trying to put it together. Or Ed, Ed, uh, Ed O'Loughlin could never put it together. It took, I think it took them a year to figure it out, but they still did it because they love it. You don't have to use a cup. Uh, and you just throw it right in and you have no cock dice. It's just, I, I think it's incredible. This opens up again to, uh, and you can order extra cubes and we're coming up with a new accessory. We're making smaller cubes that will also fit into the board and you have a shoe wet, you can buy four different color, small aluminum cubes that will sit and fit exactly into the board. So you'll have five cubes uh, in the board without uh, running around uh, uh, for a shoe wet. Just a wonderful, wonderful, a piece of work, a revolutionary, uh, and uh, of course what's revolutionary is you're getting a board for under $1,000 that is as good or better than boards that are $5,000 and more. Believe me, I've got a couple of $5,000 boards sitting in my uh, gathering dust that I would love to get rid of, uh, and uh, I'd much rather be playing on this board for many reasons. Uh, it looks better, it plays better, 
Um, the feel is great. And by the way, those are $5,000 boards weigh about twice as much. They're incredible to try and carry around. Uh, this one uh, is, uh, is uh, again, not your lightest board for carrying around, uh, but it's not that heavy and it's, and it's thin, it's beautiful. Uh, by the way, the, another accessory is uh, this little, a little uh, um, grip that goes over uh, the, the handle that comes with the board and uh, uh, makes it very, very soft and easy to carry as well. So that's it. Very, very proud of my friends uh, in Butler, Pennsylvania at the P40 Company uh, for allowing me to be a part of this incredible uh, uh, presentation uh, uh, products. Uh, keep watching us. We're working on other products for backgammon uh, simply because we love the game and we think we can advance the game and uh, and sell boards, of course, and make some money. We're not in this uh, uh, strictly for charity, but we want to do everything we can to help the game. And, and both the uh, other, the owner of the company and myself have, have done quite a bit to try and promote the game as well. We think this will make the game more popular by having really cool products uh, to play on. Uh, if you haven't played on a really great high quality backgammon board, you haven't experienced the real joy of this game. And this is what it's all about. Uh, hope you agree. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, the staff uh, uh, in, at P40, contact us right here. We'll get back to you almost immediately, or you can talk to me, and I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Phil Simbard from Chicago. Hope to see you in Monte Carlo. Uh, I'm going to Japan, Cyprus, uh, a few other places where I'm doing some boot camps with Mochi, another new project that I'm involved in. Uh, it's going to be fun to have these boards to play on.